the school year is about to start and um, as you can see I'm not I'm feeling excited like I'm, I'm I want to do this you know this is something that I've been waiting for like I'm gonna have clinic patients this time but for some reason I'm kind of worried um, because I don't know these people and I feel like I can't threaten them like I threaten my family members <laughs> if they don't show up you know um, yeah threaten my brother <laughs> I um yeah I don't know who they are so I feel like I've come so far and I really want this but then again I feel like those clinic patients actually want to be there unlike some of my family members who are just doing that for me you know they showed up for me but those clinic patients signed up to be there so I really shouldn't be worried but then again I have heard from past students like the seniors last year told us that some of the clinic patients that just didn't show up and some of the some of the the students were in tears because of unreliable patients and I feel like I shouldn't worry about this I should just worry about it when the time comes if it happens then I stress about it then I stress out about about it sorry I had coffee this morning which makes me very hyper and speak really really fast I hope you guys can understand the words that are coming out of my mouth um yeah so I've been feeling down lately. Um, I don't know. I just I got out and I was like, I'm gonna drive, clear my head, and just do a vlog today. That's that's the plan. I wanna do a vlog today because I need to start doing this on a weekly basis because I feel like vlogging or speaking to a camera, knowing that I'm gonna publish it to a whole bunch of a whole bunch of people that are probably on the same boat as I am or will be or you know I feel inspired to do so um, I feel like it helps me clear my head especially when I reveal things about myself that I don't normally want to tell people that are actually in my life like oh, I'm worried about school it's not something that I want to share with my family members I don't think they understand because they're not in they're not in the field like Yeah, I'm just, I'm just worried, guys. I... See, right now I feel my, like my conscience has been cleared a little bit, like because I, I said it out loud, and I'm gonna publish it, and I feel like I have a clear conscience now. I can move on from that. Like, okay, Karen, you're scared. Move on from it. Like you've stated that you're scared. Now you have to do something to get over your fear. Because I know I can do this. It's just, excuse me, excuse this, the ice cream truck behind me playing so <laughs> yeah so yeah I have a few assignments to do too before school they give us like um, this pharmacology assignment that I'm gonna tackle tonight that's my goal tonight I'm gonna tackle it tomorrow I'm gonna vlog about how I how I've uh, you know started or finished my um, pharmacology assignment and I also have to start doing um, like another project that uh, is gonna be one of many projects that we have to do um, for this semester I'm going into my third semester which is by far the hardest I've heard um, yeah so I feel like how hard it'll be is like a mind game like if I feel like because I'm pretty organized when I'm not freaking out about organizing my things like I'm pretty I'm pretty good with like doing that stuff it's just I need to just get the people who are gonna stress me out out of my head and just focus on accomplishing each task and knocking it down you know and just marking it down like I'm done with this done with that done with that like I don't want to think about the stuff that I have to do I just want to do the stuff that I have to do so that I'm not stressing out about it because you could just spend so much time worrying about the things that you have to accomplish when you could be using that time that you're worrying about it doing it and not feeling so stressed out anymore because you're getting it done so yeah um, those are my thoughts I will show you guys my um my new scrubs that I plan on picking up today. Uh, I feel like, you know, I was, I'm feeling down. Like, a new 
pair of uniforms or you know, you know cute scrubs will make me feel better probably maybe we'll see let's have a recap last semester I had six seven patients in total I had my mom my dad my brother my friend Tom I'm so thankful for Tom Tom was um Remember that day, I think it was in February, I was walking the streets of um, where I go to school and I was just looking for a patient desperately trying to find someone. I found someone and his name is Tom and he was a wonderful patient. I'm so glad I got him because I would not have completed all of my points that are, were required for the semester without Tom. Tom was great. So yeah, I had my mom, dad, Tom, my brother, um, and I had a pedo patient, which it, it doesn't count, but it's a requirement. You need to have a child as a patient for the semester. I feel like I had one more. Mom, dad. Um, that's it. I had other people too, but they didn't. They don't. They only came once. Literally, they both came once, and I didn't really. I didn't earn any points with them. Do not waste your time with people who are not going to show up. If they're, if they sound hesitant don't work with them like if I don't know I don't I don't know how else to emphasize this um, don't just don't force people to come either um, well you have to kind of like force people to come but if you feel like they're not going to be reliable um, don't ask them to come because if they're coming just once they're wasting your time you know what I mean really thankful for the people who showed up and stood you know stayed back stayed with me through the end because if you don't finish if you don't complete the patients you don't earn the points well that's how it is with my school you don't really get half points for half completing the patients or you know so yeah thankful for them what else I don't know, I don't know what else to say but you guys will hear from me more often because this helps me, like talking about dental hygiene school. Yeah. The solar eclipse is, you know, it's happening. But this, this crazy people are trying to take pictures of that thing. Can you believe it? I'm over here like trying to mind my own business, keeping my sunglasses on and not even looking at the sun. Like I don't even know you there. Thank you for, you know, shining up on us and giving me some light. But I'm not even going to acknowledge you today because I need my eyes. Those people are really literally trying to take a picture of it. Um, but, yeah, thank you to all the new subscribers. You guys have uplifted my spirits, even though sometimes I've been feeling sad lately. But you guys have uplifted, uplifted my spirits, and I don't feel, that's, I feel like that's why I'm, like, coming back. Because I feel like there are people out there that are on the same boat as I am, or will be. Um, and... You know, I need to get up and do what I need to do to to do it the right way. Because I've learned something um, from Will Smith. Um, he says the best things in life are on the other side of fear. And I was watching this video, and um, I'll put a link on the description um, when he, I think it was on Ellen that I don't remember which show he was on. He was telling. He was describing his first time um, skydiving and he um, he was scared the night of. He agreed to it because he didn't want to be a punk. He was scared the night of. He was scared the moment leading up to it. And as soon as he jumped in, it was perfect bliss. And he was so, he was fine. He was okay. He was safe, you know, but he was just so scared to do it. And I don't want to be scared. I don't want to be feeling sad because I'm worried that something's not gonna go right I want to put all of my positive energy into it and reap the benefits um, you know so guys this is where I get my um, scrubs from literally all of them yep so I didn't end up finding um, something that I actually wanted that would like make me happy I feel like I have like seven scrubs or six of them and I didn't see anything over there that I didn't already have that I or something that I, that jumped out at me something that I like so I, I didn't end up buying anything because these days I have to be frugal if something doesn't really make me happy or if I don't really need it I 
I don't buy it. I don't spend money on it. Um, because as you know, um, the equipment, the dental hygiene equipment are not cheap at all. Um, so it would be nice to find something that I actually like, but it's smarter to just save money if you don't actually need it. I could have used it because I gained a, a little bit of weight and I feel like I didn't find anything I liked. So. So I didn't actually just want to go buy things. I didn't just want to buy um, my scrubs just because I actually needed um, one or two because I gained weight and two of them are not going to fit very well. So yeah, but it's the end of the day. Um, I'm so glad I you know did the video today. I'm, I'll be uploading it tonight. I'm glad I did because I've been meaning to do one, but I've been feeling so sad and depressed and it, the last thing I wanted in my face is a camera. So now I feel like I got it off my chest and I feel so much better. And at times I'm just hard headed and just like Karen, just get up from the camera and just, you know, state how you currently feeling because that's the whole reason why you have this channel because you want to be able to connect with people. But at times I'm just like so stubborn and I don't. I don't want to because I don't want to bring anybody else down. You know what I mean? Like when you're feeling down, you don't want to bring anybody else down. So now I'm glad I finally did it. I'm like I'm back, um, back on YouTube. Um, I'm gonna try to be more consistent with my videos, like at least once a week. That should be, that's doable. Um, even if I'm feeling sad or depressed, I'm gonna get the camera in my face and just, you know, state how I feel because it helps it really does I feel like I've I'm past the that stage like where I'm just like worried about not having patience anymore now it's no longer in my mind so I'm not going to attract that and I'm I'll be sure to let you guys know <laughs> how it works out um, in the in the next couple of weeks this is when I'll be seeing my patients I think my first patient I'll be seeing him or her on September 8th I'll let you guys know. Um, yeah, and tomorrow it's um, instrument instrument distribution day. So that day I'm going to go to the school. I'm not necessarily going to pick up my instruments and come home with it. I'm going to leave it in my locker. So tonight I'll be sure to get, because I have a locker already. They have a, um, they've already assigned me a locker. I just need to um, get a lock, which I have in my house. Get my locks so I could lock up my instruments for from last semester. And uh, I'm trying to like... I'm gonna also try to take the opportunity of that day to just kind of like move in you know I'm gonna get my shoes and like a few other things in my locker and I'm also gonna leave like a pair of scrubs in my locker just in case one day you know I run out the house and something like that happened to one of my one of the seniors last year she forgot her scrubs and you know like it gets hectic and she she was freaking out and I lend her mind she was so happy but yeah I'm gonna have myself covered leave one of my scrubs in my locker you know just to be covered at all times yeah I can't wait I'm, I'm very excited about tomorrow like now I'm just like feeling excited because I spoke my mind and I got all of the negative thoughts out of my head so now I'm, I can just focus on the good ones I'm, I'm excited I'm glad I'm glad I I vlogged today <laughs> yeah um yeah i hope every single one of you are looking forward to the you know to this upcoming school year and i hope you guys you know are putting your best foot forward and we're gonna rock this thing right <laughs> i'm excited now i'm truly am excited like at first i was just scared and I was being a pessimist, but now I'm just like, I really look, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm also very hungry. I'm going to go home and make something to eat. All right, bye guys. I'll, I'll show you guys tomorrow um, what I'm doing during instrument, uh, during instrument, instrument distribution day. That's a tongue twister for you. Bye.